I woke up to the sound of surveyors outside the window, which means that the neighbors must have paid to have the survey done, which is awesome because then we get clarification about the property line. So I'm pretty psyched about that. And uh, let me see what we got going on outside. I'm peeking out the window. I don't know if you can see that. So we'll see what's, what's going on for the day. Because otherwise I need to go up to Dad's and, uh, yeah, help pack. The ninja did a nice job on the yard. And the guys came out and surveyed. They didn't find me. So I'm in the kitchen, as I usually am in the morning. <laughs> getting ready to go to the yoga village and take care of some administrative paperwork, take a yoga class, and then I'm going to head up to Dad's place because we're leaving on Monday morning to drive up to Trumansburg, New York. He bought a house up near my sister in Ithaca, and I'm bringing two of these big kombucha bottles full of my homebrew kombucha because I told Dad I was going to give him the hookup and uh, set him up with the homebrew set up up there so he has it accessible and I just have to give him a little teach rundown and I know my sister will pick it up if when if and when he leaves. And this is my ninja. Look at how hot and sweaty he is. Ooh, boy, look at you. Ooh, he smells good and manly. Manly man. Yeah, it's my ninja. My ninja, ninja man. 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 Hubba hubba, hot stuff. Ooh, let's roll. A wonderful start to my day. I got my Hatha Yoga Vinyasa on and now I'm gonna head to dad's because dad needs help packing. What does that mean? We got to go through boxes, make sure that he gets um, linens, bed linens and, and towels, whatever it is he doesn't need that he's got plenty of down here in Florida because dad's gonna start becoming a little bit of a what we call a Floridian uh, snowbird or snowbird where people come down during the winter and then they go back up north or wherever in the summer because dad says that the summers are getting too much for him now so anyway let's head on up north so I'm at dad's and I am cooking dinner he happened to have some beyond meat burgers in the fridge and some gluten-free buns and a uh, little northern bakehouse and right underneath we're we're grilling the buns on this is old school so for anybody who ever had these growing up my, my dad's always grilled in a in a pan on the stove and this is going to be yummy our tummies onions and burgers Beyond meat burger, some avocado, some mu and some mustard, and some onions on a little northern bakehouse bun. Get you some. Yum 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 yum. Dad, how was it? Okay. <laughs> mm. So, it's been a very busy day. I'm up at Dad's, and. Uh, we got a lot accomplished. Um, I didn't do very much video because we were pretty much talking about all sorts of stuff and it, yeah, it was just too much to go through and maybe a little bit messier than I could care to share. <laughs> anyway, and then I made some burgers for dad and we watched a movie which was the documentary of Motley Crue called The Dirt. It's pretty darn good. On the one hand, and somewhat, I'm sure, exaggerated and a little bit glamour, glamorized more so than, I don't know. It was okay. It was good. I enjoyed seeing a little insight. There's always a story behind the band, as they say. And uh, it's, it's interesting because really what it boils down to when you see stuff like that, we see 
bands and famous people and we think they've got these glamorous lives when in reality everybody's got a story everybody's trying to find their inner peace to seek healing in some way shape or form and you see it through addiction that there's that numbing of the pain of the past and uh, the beauty is learning and finding your way and sometimes you're inspired just to see that someone else is able to do it so just remember that if you yourself are inspired by watching one person that you idolize or are just enamored by or admire somebody you look up to if they inspire you imagine what you yourself can do to inspire others through your own healing never give up hope especially on you so i'm going to go to bed and uh, then i'm going to get up in the morning and do my practice and head home so sweet dreams and good night